I'll see you later. I'll message you, okay? Right. What is up, everybody? We just did a training session. Johnny from 5 2 Moto Alliance is uh, leaving right now. We did a training session with Nikki and Mel. Uh, I'm going to kind of preface a lot of this stuff, and I'm going to let some videos play. And uh, what happened was, just to preface the setting, is that we're out here on a parking lot. We're training, and uh, we're getting Nikki back on the bike. This is the first time back on the bike in a very long time. And getting Mel acquainted with her bike. It's a Honda Rebel 300. Nikki's on a Honda Rebel 500, so it's actually pretty cool. And uh, you know what? Let's just jump into it. Let's, let's uh, kind of discuss some of that stuff. Nikki's back on the bike, yo. Out here doing some parking lot practice with Nikki and Mel. That's a brand new bike, got 10 miles on it. That Rebel has 480, mostly me. So we're actually gonna get back into it. We're, we're working on getting back into the bike. We're getting familiarized with this. So we're doing some of the original exercises from the BRC1. So when you're ready, go ahead, come on down. So we're practicing clutch control, friction zone, and everything. So this is gonna be a pretty easy style of vlog for the channel. But just watch the experience of getting back on the bike and being a brand new rider. So now we're practicing getting your feet up. Not much throttle at this point. Getting familiarized with the bike and how it wants to stabilize. Then we're applying the brakes once we get up to here. A little too much, babe, just a little too much. Very good, very good. Getting them used to the bike. This is what you have to do when you get back on the bike after a long long time. And then also as a new rider, kind of take it nice and easy. Just practicing the skills she learned in class. There you go, very good, very good. That's what you gotta do. Kind of get familiarized with the bike again. There's no rush to get back on the road. That's where the dangers are. So practice in a parking lot. Now we're practicing head turns and turning. Sorry about it's all shaky. Doing very good. There's Nikki. Very good. Got to be working on this stuff, guys. This is this is all practice. We're doing parking lot stuff so that she can be ready for the road. Both of them can be ready for the road, at least in a, in a neighborhood, like I said. I don't know how many times I've said it. This is very important. So I'm trying to grab her attention. That's why I'm in this angle. Very good. And a lot of it is just getting comfortable. Just gotta get comfortable. Okay, when you're not confident or comfortable, it's, it's a lot harder to do. Yeah, yeah, boy. So that's all we really focused on was that that part was uh, we were focusing on clutch control clutch and throttle control so that they can get used to it again and then uh, getting moving forward applying the brakes and using all the primary controls the primary controls is the clutch lever the brakes and then the throttle that's kind of what the main thing is uh, when it comes to getting and going and stopping uh, we barely focused on turning um, because I feel like uh, a lot of that stuff can be taught in the class and once again just to preface some of that stuff is that Mel took the first uh, day of the BRC1 so she had a lot of information already and I was the coach for her when she was doing that so all we really did was practice what she's already learned and she's gonna retake uh, the class so that she can you know be a better writer and uh, get the full concept the full everything what's up buddy and uh, so that's what we're doing. I was just kind of helping her out, you know, refreshing some of the stuff that she has in her head and then uh, refreshing some of the stuff that Nikki had. She had a blast, absolute blast. And I'm having a blast doing these parking lot exercises. And I really, really, really want to do more of these and I would love to travel. I'm actually looking into possibly getting a van or truck. Uh, I really want a van. I honestly really want a van. I don't know, I got all these ideas floating but once we hit 500 patrons, I'll probably be able to just go and do it. And when I say probably, because maybe I'll do it beforehand. You know, maybe before 500 patrons. But if you want to help, uh, swing on by patreon.com slash Dan of the Fireman. And uh, let's see if we can get 500 patrons. And then we can do that cross-country uh, tour parking lot stuff. Oh, just making sure the bike's doing okay. And uh, it's going to be so much fun. It's going to be so much fun. 
Um, I just love seeing the progress that people make. And who knows, maybe someday I'll get a Honda Rebel 300 and then I'll just put all this crash protection on it and then have uh, just that in the back of the van or back of the truck and trailer and to have you guys practice on it if you don't have your own bike. I don't know, who knows, who knows? There's just so much stuff that's going through my head. And on top of that, uh, another little update, another news, June 8th, Greg from Moto Jitsu. Moto Jitsu boy is gonna be here in Tucson, Arizona, guys, June 8th. So if you wanna meet uh, myself and Greg and do some parking lot practice, uh, do some white belt, blue belt, all those things, you know, get your belts done with Moto Jitsu, uh, swing on down to Tucson, June 8th. Uh, there's gonna be more information. I'll be posting more and more and more information once we get all the details finalized, but June 8th, all right? All right, with that said, I hope you guys ride safe, be safe, keep practicing, be safe, and check me out Tuesdays and Thursdays when I do my live streams on accident stuff. All right? All right, bye.